How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and the 24 hour stream as you can see is happening right now on twitch.tv So check it out. Come. Ah, I'm so bad at this. This has got to be good for Corp KC honestly That way people aren't gonna be mad when they see my pet at 500 KC. I'm gonna have like 800. Oh, oh It's an elite. Oh That troll though. 2k hit points. 2k hit points. I'm focused up. I'm primed and ready. Here we go. Here we go, and Howler kill complete, 630k. Oh, we got a Serenic Essence, of course. Time to kill Furies, Twin Furies. All right, 7k, and dropped. Twin Furies done, 172k. Wine of Zamrock, personal record, yeah, right. Got him. Ooh, Treasure Hunter key. Dragon Stones, Sharks, Seal of Dragon Riders. Eh. All right, it's time for Rax. Let's go to Rax. How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to episode number 8 of the Road to Max Cash Drop Tab. It's actually my birthday today, which is awesome. What's less awesome is I'm sick and I also have 7 hours of class in, uh, in just a few minutes. Also guys, I wanted to acknowledge that I have not uploaded on my channel in a little while and I want to apologize for that. I know last year there were massive gaps, if you were around last year of course, uh, where I was not recording for like months and months on end and I wasn't uploading. And you know, that's not what the deal is this year. That's not at all happening this year. I'm not going anywhere this year and I just wanted to say that. The difficulty with these Drop Tab videos is this video, which is probably gonna be like eight or nine minutes long, I'm not done editing it yet, has 41 hours of background recorded PVM footage in it. All that's just to say, a lot of time goes into these videos and I'm not gonna jeopardize the quality of the videos to make sure that I'm getting them out like once or twice a week. So anyway guys, I just wanna say, these drop time episodes will be out as frequently as I can get them out without lowering the quality. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for me. One other thing is with the 24 hour live stream, I said that if we could hit the goal, I would dye my hair blue and then go to university with blue hair. And that is exactly what happened, so here's a picture of that. Anyway guys, have a great one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Have a great one. Peace out and let's do a little music compilation. Oh my goodness. We just did a Raxor. Oh, full rune and a rune halberd. Boys. Oh, fuck's sake. Like, what is that, 30 kills and no codexes? That's not what you want. One thousand! I got the one thousand! I got it. I got the one K. We just got one twentieth of an Animacore Helm. That is the funniest shit of all time. What? Zezima just PM'd me. Oh no, oh no. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, done. Gone. <laughs> oh, look at all of us. Oh, drag our longsword. Oh, Pernix Chaps. Was that a three man Pernix Chaps? Hey, Shemplum. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 200 next kills of one of that thing. Drive. 220. 244. I can't even say numbers. I'm so tired. Next kills. Without my H Elm. And I actually got the thing. Ooh, magic logs. Another H Elm. What? Oh! 224 kills, and I got none. And then two of them and four kills. A little tired, as you can probably imagine, I've been awake for now almost 50 consecutive hours. Just thought I'd do a little price check of everything that we managed to get on this stream real quick. It's basically just all shards, because uh, that's that's basically all that happened, and then the two ancient emblems as well. But uh, I just want to give a massive thank you. I'm not going to do a specific thank you right now to all the specific people who you know had a hand in making this stream possible, because it'd be too many people to name, and I'm sure I'm going to miss someone. But uh, just a massive thank you to everyone, both people supporting the stream by watching the stream and keeping the chat active and requesting songs and asking questions and keeping me awake that way, and also to all the people who donated to this great cause. We managed to raise over $1,500 for Cancer Research UK, which is insane. That's so much more than I thought we were going to raise, and uh, I just want to give a massive thank you just to everyone who had a hand in it.
All right, guys, second loot of the night. Let's check it. Here we go. Four, some rune plates, some rock tails, and nothing real good. Third kill of the night. Let's check the loot. Four, a not a spider leg. So apparently, if you kill a Raxa with a five finger discount aura, that is the only way to ensure yourself a spider leg piece. So let's test it out right now. Here we go. That, that was definitely a lie. Another kill down. Let's check the loot. Here we go. Four, some coal, some Addy ore. What the fuck? All right, guys, this is going to be the last Rax kill of the night. We worked our way all the way up to 220% rage, which is more than good enough for me. So here we go. I'm going to search the body and get a spider like piece. Nope, I'm going to get 10 rune plate bodies and some restores. Feels bad, man. All right, guys, I am doing a death task at Sarah Boss. And yeah, we're about halfway done. It. Just doing some really quick kills here with magic, trying out the aftershock perk. It's really, really good. And as you can see, as I commentate that, we end up grabbing an effigy. The troll beam is so real right now. But yeah, I'm going to stick around. I'm probably going to stay for a couple hours and hopefully I'll get a hilt or a crossbow or something. Uh, but you know what? Starting out with an effigy is not bad at all. Oh, there we go. Coming in with a Saradomans Murmur. I'm AFK and so hard. Didn't even see that. And yeah, there we go. 162k added to the drop tab. And more importantly, that's a unique item we haven't had before. All right, guys. So the last kill was the last kill of the death task. But I'm just going to pretend it was this kill. There we go. Arma boss down. And yeah, 12k Slayer XP, 15 Reaper points. Not bad at all. But like I said before, I'm going to stick around for a little longer. Alright guys, so I spent the better part of today just leveling up some components. I've been working on improving my perk setup. So now I've got Aftershock 3 on both my staff and my bow, my Noxious Staff and Bow. And what this here is going to do is it's going to give me some Zamorak components as well as, and most importantly, some Zaros components. Uh, what Zaros components are used for, they're used for the Impatient perk, which is one of the really, really good DPS perks to have. So anyway, that's down. Rip gains. And the last one, actually I might get a level here as well. 106 invention, not bad at all. And still no pet, feels bad man. Alright guys, during the 24 hour stream I managed to get myself two tier 80 defender pieces so now it's time to get the tier 91 so I'm going to be doing some KK, uh, starting off with Gundy, hopefully we do okay. I haven't done this in a little while but also I wanted to practice because I will be making a guide for this at some point. So yeah, we're going to hit up some duo KK, hopefully get some Dragors, you know in a duo the splits are actually pretty nice. So yeah, let's go and do it. Alright, there we go, second Calfight King duo down, not bad at all, still going pretty smoothly as I get 2k bled for the sharks. You know what, that's fine, it just extends the trip. So, you know what? I'm gonna throw them in my yak, grab some sharks, and we're good. Alright, another kill down. Here we go, coming in for the loot. And it's gonna be some RDT, that's not what you want. Alright, here we go, last kill of the trip. And healing. Of course, this always happens. Every time I'm about to record something, KK just goes heal man mode. Uh, but no, here we go. Just about done. Cheeky little Bodhi switch. Charge. And there we go. That is the kill. Last kill of the trip. Maybe we'll get some loot. More likely we'll get some sharks. RDT again. Feels bad, man. Hey, there we go. First beam, like five or six kills into the trip. And it's actually noted super restores. How many is that going to be? 45 restores. That's not bad at all. Here we go. I have no idea why I'm Onslaught in KBD, but you know what? Onslaught is one of, if not my favorite ability in the entire game. It's so much fun to use. There we go. GG King Black Dragon for the incredible 32k and the other thing about this boss is the constant loot like the average drop here is not bad at all like i'm actually probably making over a million hour here here we go onslaught man mode risk it nope oh it was so close it was so close the onslaught smacked me at 3k the last onslaught was a fail here we go we gotta commit you just you gotta commit my hands are off the mouse this is not in my hands anymore i'm not intervening here if I get killed by this, I get killed by this. No intervention will be had. Risk it, risk it, risk it, risk it. We got it. We're good. Whew. All right, let's keep doing this. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I'm messing around. I'm getting some KBD kill count. And you know what? I'm having fun with it by myself alone on a Friday night when everyone's at a party. All right, guys, there we go. First Araxor kill of the evening. I actually went back to the original way I used to do Araxor back in the day before I could afford a scythe. I do Dragors and then just normal melee gear, and it's actually a really, really good way to get the kills because even on Minion Path, what you can do is you can use the Defender and then you can actually stack Revenge and then you can actually do a ton of damage. So that kill was a little bit over six minutes, which is not bad at all for Minion Path. It's quite a bit faster than if I'd gone with ranged. But yeah, anyway, guys, let's check the loot. Here we go. Four, some Rune or some Bruise. Not bad at all. Alright guys, third kill of the evening down, let's check the loot for some Onyx Bolts E with the bruise, that is perfect, that's the ideal loot. I've been doing so much racks last couple days, basically what I do with this boss is I do tons of other PVM until I run out of brew flasks, six dose, and then I go back to racks until I have like a couple hundred, and in the past three days I've already gotten 166 dose brews, so I've been doing a ton of racks, and yeah, I'm gonna keep going.
Another kill down, let's check the loot. Four, two onyxes and the bruise again. Oh my goodness, Araxor is being so nice to me right now. We're at the acid wave and uh, this is kind of a special kill for me. This is actually my 600th Araxor kill, dies. No, we're good, we're good. I didn't think the core was gonna spawn under me. Oh, that would've been the most awkward clip of all time. Let's check the loot in before something nice, you know, a leg piece, some onyx bolts, whatever it is, you know, hopefully I get something kinda cool on 600. Let's do it. <laughs> okay.